Hi, my name's Derek, Derek Watson. I'm the Chief Executive of the Dental Fusion Organisation. We're very proud co-sponsors of today's webinar with Money for Dentists. Um, Louise, who you can hear taking a deep breath because she's a bit nervous about speaking in public, but I'm trying to reassure you that everything's going to be fine, is a, a financial advisor. She's one of the financial advisors at Money for Dentists. And that means that all of her clients are dentists. And uh, although we don't know, obviously, with uh, direct access, that may change now, and they may, may decide to expand to other dental professions. But at the moment, it's all dentists. She's worked in the financial services industry for 15 years, so she's very experienced, and she's been working in dentistry for the last six years. So she operates out of Money for Dentists' uh, headquarters in Birmingham, but, of course, they do cover the country nationally. So that doesn't make any difference. doesn't matter where you are, lands into John Gross. So anyway, without uh, much further ado, I'll uh, introduce Louise and she can kick off. Thanks very much, Derek. Welcome to the retirement webinar today by Money for Dentists. Um, as Derek said, Money for Dentists are the experts in independent financial advice, helping dentists with all aspects of uh, their financial affairs. Today I'm going to talk to you about retirement provisions, uh, whether you're an NHS dentist or a private dentist or both, and how this affects your exit strategy and retirement planning. I'm going to run through some uh, case studies that I think you'll find a useful exercise. Just initially, um, I'm going to give you just a few facts and info. Um, so if you just ignore the screen for now, we'll come on to the case studies in a moment. So first of all, the uh, NHS, uh, some of the questions we get uh, from dentists, uh, do they know if they've joined, how much they're paying in, when you'll get it, how much you'll get, how much the NHS pay, when did I join, what's the difference between the old and new schemes, and what changes they've made. One of the things we can do for you is analyse all of this. We write to Esketh House and give you a full projection and explain this to you in detail. So it's well worth looking into this if you've never done this, haven't done it recently, or have received this and don't understand it, as we find is often the case. But just a few facts for you if you do work in the NHS. What does the scheme provide? An automatic tax-free lump sum on retirement, usually three times your pension. You have the option to increase the tax-free lump sum up to the limit by giving up some of your annual pension. You can get two years life, assur two, two, life assurance of two years pensionable pay when you were working. If you were to die, pensions for your spouse or partner. This includes civil partners. Allowances are also payable for dependent children. Benefits if you have to leave work because of permanent ill health after two years of membership. Options to increase your benefits by paying additional contributions. In recent times, many accountants, even those specialist to dentists, have recommended that associate dentists become incorporated to save a percentage of tax by moving from paying income tax to corporation tax. Although this does bring tax planning savings and advantages, however, did you know for associates it will make you no longer eligible for the NHS pension? This is featured heavily in the press, and for more info on how this affects you personally, if this is the case, please contact us. So looking at retirement planning and the wider picture, when considering providing for your future, most clients seem aware this isn't going to come solely from your NHS pension, be it from the proposed sale of your current or rental property, investments made throughout your career, simply savings accumulated, all of this very much depends on your aspirations for retirement and how you wish to stagger this. We can help you bring all of this together for financial independence at your chosen retirement age in the most tax efficient and cost effective way. I don't plan for my clients' retirement days, generally speaking. I plan for their financial independence and this can involve many exit strategies. If you think about personal pensions, it's good to have the benefits of both. Post personal pensions are becoming much more popular than they have in recent years. I find that clients' perception of private pensions is changing. The reason for this is there was a huge pension reform in this country on the 6th of April 2006. Therefore, personal pension plan charges have come down significantly in recent years, making them much more attractive, as well as attracting tax relief on your contributions. Something particularly interesting about personal pensions that you may or may not know is that you can buy commercial property, such as a dental practice, through your accrued personal pension. This gives tax planning advantages for both you and your business. This can also provide a useful part of your exit strategy, a great tax planning tool now, as well as providing you with an income in retirement. We can also ensure you're utilising all of your family's pension allowances. Did you know that non-earners and children can make pension contributions? 
Pension legislation is ever-changing and we can make certain that you're kept abreast of and making full use of the tax planning advantages. One of the major changes was before April 2011, the annual allowance stood at £255,000, a figure that even the extremely wealthy were seldom caught out by. The limit now stands at a gross total of 50,000, placing many more people in danger of overfunding. This is due to reduce to 40,000 in April next year. Dentists are particularly at risk due to the NHS pension. When calculating how much of your annual allowance is used, schemes like the NHS can't simply add up how much you've paid in. Rather, they have to calculate the increase in pension benefit and derive a value based on this. For dentists in the practitioner scheme, this is based on the NHS earnings in the current year and the total career earnings to date. Large earners in the NHS and those in the later in their careers are most likely to overfund. The difficulty arises because you will only truly know your NHS earnings at the end of the year and therefore forward planning is difficult. The NHS currently do not provide annual allowance statements, so many people will be unaware they are overfunding until it is too late, incurring a tax charge. Again, a specialist advisor can help you to avoid this. I'm going to run through a walking example of this to give you an idea. So if you look at your screens, obviously like I've just said, the annual allowance and today what it stands at. So if we look at Ravi, one of our clients, Ravi has been an NHS dentist for the last nine years, earning approximately 106000 per annum. He's contributing to both the NHS pension and to a personal pension. Many people the, believe that the annual allowance is calculated by, like this, by simply adding up what you've paid in, if only if it was that simple. When the calculation of how much your annual allowance is used, schemes like the NHS can't simply add up how much you've paid in. Rather, they have to calculate the increase in pension benefit and derive a value based on this. As you can see, the calculation is quite complex and it shows that Ravi's pension input is actually 48,545 just from the NHS scheme, which as you know now is nearly at the limit. Now if we add in the additional 10,000 per annum he's paying into a personal pension, you'll see that he's overfunding. This means that Ravi is in fact exceeding the annual allowance by doing so and he will incur a tax charge on the excess, thus making him a very angry dentist. Another common problem that we see is Uzma, another example. Nine years ago, her NHS private split was like this, and now she, and she was only contributing to the NHS pension scheme. Over the years, these figures have reversed, meaning that she's now drastically underfunding her retirement provision, a common career transition I'm sure you'll agree. Therefore, we would suggest additional planning, such as a private pension, that would attract tax relief at the highest rate. So as a 50% taxpayer, this means that the government have effectively matched her contributions pound for pound, meaning she's effectively doubled her money on day one. This is a useful tax planning tool now, as well as providing the desired level of income in retirement. There's a few things to be aware of when it comes to pensions. The NHS scheme is changing again in 2015, so please see our website for updates as and when further details get released. Principals also need to be aware that auto-enrolment started from October 2012 for the larger companies and will be phased into smaller companies between now and 2017. Under these rules, you will have to provide access to a pension for all employees over the age of 22, earning more than 8,105, making employer contributions to the scheme of 3% from 2018 onwards. These schemes are mandatory and there will be fines for not putting one in place. The sooner you meet with an independent financial advisor and get this in place, we can help you phase this in so it's less of a hardship and more of an advantage to you in your practice. We're running a special webinar on this at 10 past 1 on the 24th of May that you might be interested in listening to. That brings us to the end of our retirement webinar today, so please get in touch if you'd like a complimentary meeting. This is complimentary to DFO members and normally worth £500. One of our advisors can come and meet with you in your practice at your convenience, usually at lunchtime, to see if you're pers see, help you with your personal situation and see if it has you on track for a comfortable retirement.
Thank you, Louise. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, you can contact Louise at, as it shows you on the screen there, at Louise at moneyfordentist.com. And she's always happy to talk to Dental Fusion members or anybody. So if you are a member, do get in touch with her or us about any other subjects that you'd like us to cover. We've got a brand new website at dentalfusion.org where you'll find every webinar and podcast that the DFO has produced going back to 2006, as well as lots of other freebies. And you can join the DFO for as little as a pound. All members get one hour free verifiable CPD for watching the DFO webinar. So I hope that was helpful. For now, thanks for your time and attention.